plagued by the current socio-political crisis, young people drawn from various strata of society air out their view for the fact that civilians who are unarmed, who don't know how this crisis actually started, are paying the hard currency price. They are dying every blessed day. These young people think that peace can vindicate us from the shackles of those that are actually killing us every blessed day. We pray that peace return, which is the only solution to this particular problem, drowning us every blessed day. Lives have been lost, properties and jobs taken away from us. We think that peace can come and solve this problem. Dirt and bread have become too close. That dirt now take the place of bread. I smile with my boys. The next thing I see is blood oozing out. Just because they are your innocent suspects. They killed our husbands. They took our children. And they defied us. Do not take advantage of this mishap to defile a woman. Mother Earth is crying. How long will I keep swallowing? They go out as bodies, but yet come back as corpses. I still hear my baby cry. It hurts me that I can't reach out because the distance between my baby and I is dead. The same authority vested on you to protect your country is the same authority vested on me to protect my body, to protect my genitals. The governor goes free. My people pay for the shots. Ah, really? Civilians, like grass, suffer the effect of your elephant shoes, so stay out. Wearing an armor, holding a pistol, is strength, not cowardice. Put the guns down, build your guts, and talk. Stop the war together. Let's keep peace.